Hey guys, it's Wolf of Valhalla, and there goes Cuervo. And yeah, we're back in Astroneer. We're back in Astroneer. He's going to Novus. We need more research, and we're going to start moving the base. We did do a little Not bit off screen. I'm starting my own colony. <laughs> Uh, we did a little bit off screen, and not intentionally, the audio just kind of got glitched, so we're doing a new episode. So, uh, yeah, yay for five hours worth of Astroneer content packed into one. Anyway, we've uh, got to start I'm moving some stuff. Uh, no, you're not going to Glacio, you're going to Novus. <laughs> Novus, okay. I almost clicked on Glacio. And maybe I shouldn't have trusted him with that. I'm fine. <laughs> Two more rocket packs. Yeah, I gave you three for a reason. All right, so we did build the tether line all the way to the portal, if y'all remember from last episode or the first episode. This episode's going to be about power, though, so he's going to get research so we can get medium batteries. And then I'm still leaving it up to y'all, but he's also getting some power generators for us because we found, like, three medium generators. But I am leaving it up to the audience to see what kind of power source we should use for the new base. Currently, our biggest power source is from medium generators. But um, I feel like we always, everyone's base is always RTGs. Like even my last base had like 17 RTGs just laying around. So I'd like to see what some other ideas for power is. And uh, yeah, just let me know down in the comments below what kind of power system y'all would like to see. And other than that, this is going to be a time lapse of me moving some stuff back and forth between the bases. So I will see everybody in just a few minutes. Welcome back, guys. Uh, we've done a bit. It's been about an hour. But yeah, we've, we've kind of moved in to the purple. I'm not sure if that's going to be a time lapse or a cut. Uh, it just depends how I feel in post-edit. Let's get that smoothed out a little bit more. And that smoothed out a little bit more. My OCD is showing now that I have the ability to try and get things perfectly flat. There we go. So as you can see, we have gotten some batteries, which is very nice. We have miscellaneous uh, power items that I'm going to take and put on this platform that's being printed now, and I'll plug that into those as well. But for now... Yep, there we go. So let me unpack you. Also, you can see the wall. Look how smooth it is. So pretty. So pretty. All right, let's... Finally here. Yep. Cuervo's been working diligently to move stuff back and forth while I try and build the base. All right, here is one large. Yay, there we go. All right, so we're going to put this platform right here. We're going to unplug that one. Oh. Put that back, please. I didn't do anything. Yeah, I know. I, I moved it so I could unplug the thing that was plugged in behind it. Oh. We got him, him, and now we've got this one right there. So I get rid of you so I can see what I'm doing over here. There we go. Okay, so those are mostly lined up, so we're going to connect them really quick. Connected. Connected. And now we're going to connect you via there to there. Connected. And now we're going to take our generators. This will become battery power. Actually, we're going to do that in reverse. Generators will go over here, and they will flow into the batteries. There you go. There's more power. Perfect, perfect. And then batteries will go right here, and then we'll have an assorted array of power items here. So for now, I think we're going to go with wind power because we are on the North Pole which means we don't get a lot of sunlight, um, a lot of continuous sunlight. So that means that, unfortunately, it's just kind of inefficient to use other methods of power. Oh. Let's put that over there. Uh, where's our smelter? Oh boy. 
put that there, put that up there. Do we have any other batteries that you know of? No, I'm taking all these okay. packages and I'm gonna start packaging stuff in the base. The rest of the base? Okay, I shall continue my, um, yeah, whatever I'm doing here. My organization, I guess. Oh god. Put our printer here. Kind of plug him into the back somewhere. So I know we've done a purple base before, but um, I really enjoy how flat this one is. Just look at that. Just look at it. Eventually, I'll figure out what I want to do with the actual base. If y'all have any ideas or seen any videos with people that you've seen that have really good base ideas, let me know so I can um, steal them without a doubt, 100%. <laughs> anyway, uh, are you getting the... Um, you're getting the uh, soil centrifuge, aren't you? Yes, is that my priority? Um, we do need it over here, but it's not a priority. Okay. Um, can you build me a landing platform? A landing platform? I need ceramic for that. So let's go get some ceramic, because I should have aluminum here. You brought the aluminum, didn't you? I think so. I brought it in the let big pad. Check. Yeah, I do have aluminum, so let me go grab some ceramic, and I'll build the landing pad so you can take the shuttle. Yes. Um, I think the nearest clay is actually close to the base. So we're going to go that way. Okay. So, so peaceful, this. but it takes a lot of work to get something like this done. So it's in a huge. Whee! But we also need the platform for it, too, which is unfortunate. Yes, yeah, two large items, which... We need to get the bigger shuttle, is what I'm hearing. As soon as we get the uh, gas, or the atmospheric condenser, we'll get the bigger shuttle. Oh, there's some clay over here. Go grab two clay, and I have aluminum, and then we'll build the shuttle. Oh, wait, uh, no, it is a three item, okay. We also need to bring the large printer over. Okay, okay. So. that was a waste of clay. There's only like three things sticking out of the surface. Oh, I'm so excited. I really want to see a large wind turbine though. We have the large solar panel, we have the RTG. I want to see a large battery and a large solar, or a large wind turbine. Can you imagine how much fun we'd have with a large battery? Just put like one of those on each base and you'd be set. The real question is, what provides more energy? A storage silo full of small batteries or one medium battery? Because I don't know how much energy one battery puts out, honestly. Or stores, I suppose. Okay, so the... There's one thing of clay. Oh, that's the narrow mod. I don't need the narrow mod turned on right now. Damn it. Can I put two things of clay? Yes, I can. Alright, I got three things of clay. I'm gonna go build your landing platform. Okay. I have the soil centrifuge in the shuttle. Okay. And I'm actually gonna go off world to grab the other medium generator. Uh huh. And I'll be back. Wait, how are you gonna grab the medium generator if you have the centrifuge in the shuttle? Medium generators are small packagers, right? I don't know. Are they? Package it. I don't think they are. I thought medium generators were normal packages, like most medium items. I don't know. I mean, you still have another fuel thruster over here, so if you want to just take off and I'll build this and you can land at the purple and then go and grab it. We'll Whichever way works for you. Worst comes to worst, you go there and it, you have to use the second uh, thruster anyway. Alright, let's go. Oh boy. 
Climbing this hill is a nuisance. I can't wait till we're done moving completely. Wee, down we go. Let's go. Oh, I love the ramp that I built. It looks so nice. Not perfect, but it's nice. All right, so I need to fire up the kiln. Get some of this clay going. Yeah, you're right. We do need to get the medium storage silo. Okay, I'm gonna try to see uh, new bits. Let's see if I can get that. Uh, yeah, it's only 200 bytes away from what we have, but it requires titanium. I forget which planet has titanium, but as soon as we get that, we'll be set. And what are we trying to build? What the medium storage silo? Remember we need that? Alright, I've got two clay, one aluminum. I'm gonna build your landing platform. Oh, look at this. So pretty now. Let's, um... Hmm. Put the solar panel up here. I doubt it'll get much sunlight, but it's worth a try. That just looks so nice now. Look at it. My astroneer just observing his nice work here, yes. Am I right or am I wrong? I am right. You can I'm always right. Back. Oh, you can? Okay. Yes. So Well, um, by the time you get back, the landing pad should be in position. I cannot guarantee that you'll know where it's at, though, because remember, I don't have a marker here. So um, you just have to look for the landing pad that's going to be like right on top of the purple next to home. I also have a um, research item from this planet. Awesome. Oh, we need to bring the researcher over here too. All right, so I'm gonna put the landing pad out for you. Okay. How much, uh, how much research do you need to be able to do that? What? To get the medium silo? Uh, I need like 200 more, it's not very much. I need to do before I go down there is oh I actually might be able to give you 200 from up here I need to flatten an area out for this freaking silo or this landing pad there you go okay but we still need titanium that's the issue oh one one problem at a time yeah we have it but now we need titanium Is this flat? Did I manage to align something with the grid without trying? That's pretty flat. I'll take that. I don't even care right now. Oh wow, that almost matched up with that. Huh, interesting. I almost matched something up with the uh, purples grid without realizing it. Okay, well, here goes nothing. Oh god. Every time you do that what get into the when you get into the shuttle it causes my game to lag because it saves oh god and whatever you're doing right now is causing me to lag it's getting into orbit yeah that's why it has to spawn in all the planets for you to see so it lags for me all right where is home I don't one second i haven't put it down yet no i'm just uh clicking on it so i can get in orbit oh, yeah i'm building a platform for the platform. There we go. Sounds a little uh, off. You'll understand what I mean when you land on it. Okay. Perfect. So now I need to find Oop. where is purple with lighting up. Yeah, it's got a landing platform literally right next to it. Wee! I'm gonna suffocate at my own base. Let's not. Hopefully that spawns in for me, though. It should. I mean, it's there now. It's so pretty over here. I'm so glad I moved over here. I'm just going to work on refining this landing pad now. Do you see my marker on the planet? Mm, well, I haven't found the, uh, the base Home. yet. 
Okay. I'm, just, I'm waiting for it to do a revolution and show me where the, our actual base is. Cause it, I should see the, uh, the purple from orbit. Yeah, you should see it from orbit. Okay. I see... Perfect. Oh, this looks so nice. Perfect. There we go. All right. We have a landing pad attached to the purple now. Whenever you find it. I wonder if I can well, see you in orbit. I see the I see a purple, but I don't see a landing pad on it. So it might not be that one. Probably not. Have you found base yet? Yes, I have. Have you looked to the, uh, depending on where the rotation is, you typically come in from a different angle than, um, what you'll see here. I may have to go get the beacon that's at the base for you. Yeah, I, yes, you're out of my view. I can okay. See, I can actually see your beacon moving, like, right. Yeah, so the landing pad, that's literally right behind me, if you can see it. Well, your beacon now kind of disappeared, so... Oh, boy. This is going to take a while. Oh, uh, yeah. I'll just uh, I'll just hang out in, in orbit. Okay. Never, I'm going to head back to the happened. base. And, uh... Hey, what's the worst that could happen? Turns into freaking aliens. All right. Let us aliens. go. Let us go. We are astroneers. We are printed. Just like our materials we use. Uh. <laughs> I remember the first time I saw the end of the game, and it's like, printing, new Astroneer, and I was like, what? What? This is actually news for me. What? Yeah, if you watch, like, my season <laughs> finale for frickin' season one, it's like, printing, new Astroneer, and I'm just like, what? Why is this a thing? How are you printing an organic thing? Hmm. I mean, I get we can print organs, so I guess I kind of get the concept behind it, but printing a full person? Okay, I've made one revolution, or, well... I'm you see my beacon now? Oh, I see you. I see your, uh, I see the shuttle beacon. Yeah, I'm not in the right position. Yeah, no. Um, do you see the beacon that's moving now? Yes. Okay. I'm going to go put this on the landing platform. Hopefully I can reach it. Hopefully. I have a dream that Cuervo will be able to land before he dies of suffocation in space. Uh, we can only hope. That would be a release from the world. And then we'd just print you again and you'd get stuck in here forever. But I'm already released from the world. Eh, are you? <laughs> but are you really? Are you? It's like that one meme with uh, Thor and what's her name off of Game of Thrones where they're both squinting at each other. Are you really? Are you moving towards the platform right now? I am, in fact, moving directly towards the platform. I'm going to take a hunch. If this is wrong, I am completely screwed. No, you're not, because the other, there were two spots that you could land on near, oh god, did I just hear you re-enter the atmosphere? I chose wrong, by the way. Did you? You chose the left side of the purple, didn't you? Can you take off again, or is nope. the engines broken? The engine's broken. Oh boy. That's why I said I am. Well, grab the shuttle and start heading north, I guess. <laughs> lovely curious you probably landed behind this one because i'm pretty sure this one has a landing zone behind it i don't know there's literally a beacon on top of the uh landing pad now though like dead center on it trying to make it dead center there we go and it is What happened to the flashing color one? Okay, I'm heading north. There used to be one that north, flashed so... colors. 
Oh, when you see a... I'll make it... Screw it. I'm just gonna make it, uh... Red. Red beacon is home. Uh, it's just a beacon. I'll make it blue. What is the difference between this blue and the other blue, though? Okay. Well, there's a beacon. I don't know where you are. You have oxygen, though, because you have the shuttle. Not wrong. Alright, and uh, unfortunately we're out of time for today's episode. Next episode, we can rescue Cuervo. Yeah, because I'm kind of a... Uh... Oh yeah, I see the beacon. Do you? There where are you? a mountain in front of me, though. Oh yeah, you did land behind it. I know exactly where you are. You're to my west, aren't you? Probably. Yeah, you're behind this mountain that's in front of me. Alright, so, um... Let's grab Cuervo really quick. Oh, boy. And then we'll end the episode. And I'm gonna keep printing stuff while I wait on you. It's a good By rescue, uh... I mean self-rescue, because I'm not doing it for you. <laughs> By rescue, I mean I put the beacon, so you figure it out <laughs> from here. Exactly! Let me move this battery over here. Ooh, no, 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 no. This is the hole. Shuttles, <laughs> shuttles do not belong in holes. <laughs> if you break my shuttle, I it's swear good. to the gods. It's a good thing shuttles can't break, because I've already dropped it about, like, nine times. There's a bunch of debris over here. I'm going to start shredding so we can trade it for battery stuff. Yay, batteries. We have too much stuff over here right now. Gotta start shredding shite. Shred you. Uh, that's another one of you. I'm not worried about that. Um, iron can go in the back over here. So we're just gonna start organizing the base and as we get the new platforms, we can just uh, shred the old ones. That's ammonium. I don't know what to do with that just yet. Keep shredding everything though. So we are getting a decent amount of solar energy here. Like, not a great amount, but a decent amount. Like the solar panel, since I put it on a wall, actually stays pretty active for some of the day. There we go. And this will just be a storage platform for this guy, probably. Yeah, I'm still tentatively going north, even though I'm in the middle of... <laughs> oh, I see the shuttle moving. <laughs> I just see the beacon in the background. <laughs> just jumping around. <laughs> oh, there you are. Yeah, I put the shuttle up on a perch pretty much. I'm trying to get to it now. Yeah, I see you. I see your beacon too. You can probably see mine. Mm, I'm on the other no. side of a hill. So look I'm north. Make, uh, I'm trying to make a little wadi so I can walk. I mean, I can see the shuttle. I'm going to steal it from you. Here, steal that. Okay. <laughs> Base is right there. Where is that one movie where Matt Damon or whatever his name gets stuck on a planet? <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> you talking about Martian? <laughs> yeah, that's what just happened to you. Got stuck. Uh, and I okay. I didn't die. And like I said, thankfully these things are uh, pretty resilient. Uh, All right. Um, I do not have enough resin. Uh, do you have one resin on you? No, I do not. Dang it! Because I just used it to make this to make more storage space. Oh well. I'll just make another one, and we can get some more resin next episode. Not too worried about it. So now, hopefully, this will spawn in for me. Should. Next time. You want to shred that engine? Yeah. Oh, dang it. It's going to be weird. Okay, whatever. Game. Have it your way. Let's 
expand that. In better news. Why do you have a second oxygen tank? No. Oh, I thought you were trying, trying to get trying rid to get of it. Out. Ooh, another generator. Lovely. And uh, a research item. Ooh. We don't have the research station here, though. That's the next thing that needs to get brought over. Yes, that is the next thing that needs to get brought over. There we go. Our line of generators. Yes. And this guy can go up here. And give me that. Now, the one thing we do need to do, I guess, before we take off again, make sure we have ample amounts of thrust components or thrusters. Um, I think you had one thruster here. I already put it on the thing. Okay, and I have enough to make one more, or two more here. Okay, that's good. Alright, nope. Well, unfortunately, we're out of time for today's episode. Cuervo managed to get lost and find his way back home. We've moved into the new base. We'll figure out the power stuff later, and we'll get some more stuff moved over off screen. But thank you all for joining me, and as always, we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.